Um, David Nier, Nier, my apologies. Nier. David Nier, oh, you know him? Yeah. Well, why don't you answer this one? Yeah, um, Ian. <laughs> yeah, Ian. What did you do with Mac anyway? Where is he? Um, <laughs> he's commenting a bunch. Okay. Apparently, he's to get back to work. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> um, David, David says, any thoughts on why the kilt is typically only worn for special occasions in Scotland these days? When did it evolve from a more regular wear garment to its current status? <clears throat> so why do some people keep their kilts in the closet, especially people in Scotland? Hmm. So he's he's pointing something out that is true. In, in Scotland, kilts are not daily wear. Um, they are worn, generally speaking, for fancy type events, weddings, funerals, balls, things like that. Um, so when did it stop being something you wear every day? Um, my my guess would be if I'm traveling back in time, would be essentially the prescriptions probably had the biggest single effect on it. So 1700s after the uprising and the, the, the government, the British government said, you know, nope, not going to wear that anymore um, because it was a symbol of rebellion, so to speak. Um, that was probably the time where it had the, you know, the, the least wearing of it um, forced. Now, you know, you could, if you wore a kilt or, you know, you could join the military to wear a kilt because that was still allowed. Yeah, that's my one reason for joining the British Army in the 17th yes. or well, 18th it was, century. <laughs> it was kind of, it was, it was, it's a weird evolution where the, the British military kind of adopted and, and usurped the dress of the enemy, so to speak, mm -hmm. air quotes enemy, mm -hmm. um, to be able to co-opt it and be like, okay, now it's just part of us. Um, and after the prescriptions, you know, were, were ended, it just, it never, it didn't have the same thing. It never became daily wear again. So the biggest event or, or push um, for it to, to become a thing again were, you know, Sir Walter Scott and his peers were those saying, okay, now here's what we're going to do with it and trying to push it forward, not letting it naturally evolve, but actively saying, no, 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 we need to do this. We need to preserve it. We need to go forward with it. And my my gut says, and this, again, me, just one man's opinion, would say that that had an effect on it being dressy because A, it was done for a formal dress event. It was done for the king coming to Edinburgh in 1822. And it was kind of a, an expensive thing and a dressy thing. And it kind of trickled down over time. But it when it came roaring back and the tartan craze you know, came about in the 1800s, it was from the top down, not from the bottom up. Does that make sense? So that's kind Sounds of- like somebody I know said that once exactly, very recently. Exactly. Somebody, um, hmm. But yeah, so that's that's my theory on why it sort of became dress wear and now it's starting to come back a little bit as daily wear and fun wear, but it's still or fashionable, but it still always has that undercurrent of formal. Yeah, I, I think it's um agree or disagree. I mostly agree. Um, I think it's going to be it comes down to economics and practicality. Um, there are a lot of guys now who will take me a task and say like, no, kilts are really practical and they're great. They're better for the male physiology and all that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, greater movement, all that, but it's not necessarily so. And if you are a working man in the, uh, 18th, 19th, 20th century, you're going to wear the dungarees or you know or the, the 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 heavy canvas trousers or whatever you need to wear to get through a work day something you can wash easily something that doesn't require any special care um something that is cheap readily available um and the more you get away from making clothes at home the more this becomes the case you're going to get what you can buy and use and it's completely practical and if you have a kilt you chance are you're only going to have one and you don't want anything to happen to it. So you're going to save it for special occasions only. Maybe you wear it to go to church. 
uh, at most. You know, it's the people who are at the upper echelons of society or the middle class who have the privilege in uh, most of history um, to indulge in this and not have to worry about it as much. If you are if you are a gentleman or if you are a middle class, well, still gentleman, um, then you can you can wear this because you basically have like the equivalent of an office job or you have uh, independent income. So you can you can wear what you want. It's not a problem. But that's not through for the you know 150 200 250 years ago, that's not the majority of society. So it's a it becomes a special occasion thing because you are not going to be able to get away with wearing it when you're going to go work down at the shipyard. You know, I don't think there were a lot of guys who were building steamships, you know, in, in uh, Glasgow and the other places that, uh, wait, was Glasgow? Yes. Was ships. that a shipbuilding yep. town? I thought so. Um, they're not going to be wearing kilts when they're, you know, putting rivets into the side of a battleship. <laughs> so I think that's basically where it comes from. And then now, because of modern technology and the modern conveniences of, of our society and everything, as well as the lack of conformity that we have now compared to them then, because there, there probably was still an element of like, well, that's great, but why are you wearing that? It's not practically, you know, what are you? You know, it's, you, you have a, some pushback from your peers, I think. Yeah. Um, it was not something that everybody did because not everybody felt that they could, as opposed to now. The, so, I, I would, could be wrong about this, but I think most of the time when you see working men in kilts in the 19th century, it's a very specialized situation, like they're gillies on an estate. Yeah. Now. So, I, you're a you're 100 right in the cost i don't disagree now do you think there's other reasons why because it was pushed back to the upper echelons there may be there may be a bit of a pushback on the oh no 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 that's what the fancy people wear or it's the i don't want to be mm. associated with that or i don't want to be i don't want to be bothered having to talk to people because when you wear a kilt out in public even today it's the, oh, is there an event? What are you doing? You look so nice. Like maybe if you're, I um, won't say antisocial, but if you just don't feel like dealing with people <laughs> talking to you, um, maybe you're, you know, a less likely to want to wear it. I don't, th I don't think there, I don't think you have quite that same parameter, the same dynamic there that you do here. Um, I think that people, if they see you in a kilt, they assume either you're just wearing it by choice or you're going to a special occasion. Right. You know, I mean, it's, I know that I know that the kilt makers over there have told us that there has been an increase in people wearing them casually uh, and just for fun. Um, but if you if you look at like the middle of the 20th century, I don't think you would have that same situation. You would still have special occasions, and I think the special occasions became less and less formal. Hence the tartan army and guys wearing kilts for for football matches and stuff. You know, like for when we did the the kilts through time video, one of the photos I found that was really hysterical was the the uh, tartan army football fans from like the mid 1970s and they're in kilts and they're just it, it they're just doing it for the laughs you know um but uh yeah i lost my train of thought yeah no, but it's, a, <laughs> it's a symbol of national pride over there for them more than it is family yeah, i don't and but there there is also somewhat of a movement or somewhat of a, a desire at least by a few um to make it more daily wear like look at like yeah. howie nicholsby um from exactly 21st century kilts of. Yeah. <clears throat> and his whole thing is kilts were daily wear for men at some point. They can be again. Let's yeah. do it. And he's making kilts out of contemporary fabrics, whether it's pinstripe, whether it's twee, whether it's, you know, you know, saran wrap, whatever. Um <laughs> snakeskin, denim. Um, he's making Black. some some fashion y type choices out of traditional, you know, hand sewn style kilts, yeah. but making it fashion forward. Yeah. So there is a desire on some level from some people to do it and just have fun with it and be different from the regular clothes that's out there. Yeah, I think the times are changing, but for the past hundred years, it was, you got one kilt, you got it when you graduated from school, very often, still do a lot of time, um, or you got it for a wedding, um, but it was a special garment. You had to go and get fitted for it and have it made and all that kind of stuff. So it was not necessarily cheap. And so you kept it for special occasions to keep it safe. Um. Yeah, I think that's all I all I can say about that. Now, this is all educated guessing, speculation. I, I am yeah. open to other interpretations and information from our friends over in Scotland. To tell me what they know from family history and stuff. I would be very interested now. But um, that's my 
That's my suspicion. But the bottom line is, if you want to wear it, whether you're in Scotland, whether you're in the US, Canada, Australia, doesn't matter where you are. If you want to wear it and it means something to you and you enjoy it and you're wearing a pattern you'd like the look of, do it. Yep. Who cares? Who's going to stop you? No one. Maybe your boss, but screw him. <laughs> so here's two questions for you. One, how often do you wear the kilt? Daily? Weekly? Monthly? Let me know below. Second question, should the kilt be daily wear again? And if it is, would it lose some of the special qualities that make it so fun for you to wear? Let us know.